The previous video in this playlist shows how to find the twos complement using two steps. Step one, you find the ones complement of the number you're given. Step two, you add one to this ones complement, and then you end up with the twos complement. And we took this number here, and we showed that its twos complement was this value. Then we took this number here, and we also showed that its twos complement was this value here. Now, if we start at the least significant bit, which is this one here, and what we do, we copy down, and we copy a zero. Go to the next one, we copy a zero. The next one, we copy a zero. And you continue to do this until you've copied your first one. Now, that's the first one we've copied down there. And from this point onwards, you invert the rest. So this one will become a zero. The next one will become a zero. The next one, a zero. And the zero becomes a one. Now, if we now look at the original one that we'd worked out with the last video, we can see these two are the same. So this is the quick method of actually doing it. We must always start at the least significant bit and copy down. So we copy the one down, and that's the first one we've copied down. And as soon as you've copied your first one, you then invert the rest. So that becomes a zero. This zero becomes a one. This zero becomes a one, this one becomes a zero, this one becomes a zero, and the last two zeros become one. And this was the answer as we showed in the last video, and if we look we can see they're in fact exactly the same. So, this is a quick method of finding the two's complement. Let's look at another example. Here I'm finding the one's complement, so I'm inverting everything. As you can see right until the end. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add one to this particular one's complement here. So this is the addition of the one. So that's north down carry one, north down carry one, north down carry one, that's a one, and all the others simply come down. And that's the two's complement. This process was covered in the last video. Now let's use the quick method. So what we do here, we copy down as you can see. So I'm copying the zeros down, and now I'm copying my first one. So there's the first one actually copied down. And what we need to remember, as soon as we've copied this down, we invert the remaining bits as we move towards the most significant bit. So that becomes a 1, this 1 becomes a 0, this 0 becomes a 1, and this 0 also becomes a 1. And what we can see, we did it the two stages way and got that answer, and we did it the quick way and got this answer. And if we look very carefully, we can see they're exactly the same.